An unmatched query is a query you can create to find if there are any fields that aren't matching in between two tables. Say if you want to combine the tables, you don't want to bring over duplicates, just those that are not matching. Another example would be, for example, my products table. Double click. I've got the product ID over here, and that product ID is found in the order details. So it's good to find that product ID here, which means we're selling that product. Hey, we got this one duplicated many times and so on. So how about if we find out from the product table to see if we have anything that's not matching up that product ID in the order details? Because if it's not found in here and there's no match, it means we're not selling it. I mean, you could scroll through here and try to find them all, but ugh, you got thousands of records. How annoying. Instead, we can close out of here and use the unmatched query. So come up here, click on the Create tab, go to the Queries group, and let's do the Wiz thing. Click on that, and there's the Unmatched Query Wizard, and you can read down below after you select it. This wizard creates a query that finds records or rows in one table that have no related records in another table. So with it selected, well, you can double-click on it, opens up, and it says which table or query contains records you want in the query results. I want the products. You can go ahead and select that and do it the long way and click next. Oh, how boring. But instead, you can click back and just double click on it. It selects it and advances to the next step. So which table or query contains the related records? Well, if we find it and they are related, it would be the order details to see if we're selling all our products. And those that aren't, it will pull up. So the order details, double click. And it says, what piece of information is in both tables? That's the product ID. Automatically found it, so it has it selected and it added it down below where it says, between these two fields, is there anything that's not pulling over or that's not matched? So it's got all the product IDs over here, but is there anything over here that it can't find? If it can't find it, that means we're not selling it, so it'll pull it up in the results here. Now that's one way to do it. Another way is, let me bring up another example, is you can do two or more and not just one field to compare against. So for example, let's pretend we've got a customer's table and another customer's table. We've got first name and last name and first name and last name. So you could select, you know, both the first names and click on if there's no matches and it adds it down below. Well, it add the order number, but pretend with me that they're both first names. And then you go down below and select their last names and click unmatch. It would add it down below as well. And what it would do is that it would compare between the first and last names for duplicates. Because if I just did it for the first name, and you have a bunch of bobs but with different last names, well, that's not going to really be helpful, is it? But it's very rare, at least that I've come across. And it's less likely that, you know, you have somebody with the same first name and last name. And so that's why I would select both the first names, unmatch, and select both the last names and unmatch. So we can compare both those fields to, doesn't matter if they have the same first name, doesn't matter if they have the same last name, but collectively, they can't have the same first name and last name. In any case, we're back to product ID, product ID. Click on it so it updates it down below. Click Next. And it says, what fields do you want to see in the query results? Well, I want the product ID, double click the product. I don't care about the price and the category ID. Click Next. And it says, what would you like to name your query? Whew, here's a long name. TBO products without matching to the order details table. So let's go ahead and view the results. I'm okay with the name. Click finish. Hey, there we go. It's product ID 10 and 11. So if I go to the order details table, and believe me, this won't take long. It's sorted numerically. So do you find a 10 or 11? Come back here. That's where they're at. So we haven't sold those yet. Oh, nuts. Now, if you want, you can right click and go to the design view of this query to figure out how it did this. And so you can see the two tables up above. And it's got a join where it says it wants everything from this table and only those things that it found in the other table. Except it's looking for match, but to get it to unmatch, we're looking at the product ID field in the criteria where it says it is null or is empty. So if it's not found over in here, then go ahead and pull it up as something that it can't find. And that's why when we go to the view, the data sheet view, it's these two right here because it cannot find these product IDs in the sales table or the order details, which is what keeps track of what we sold. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.